Hey guys, this is Mike from MNR. Today we have the 2022 GMC Canyon AT4 and we're going to be removing the grill. First thing we're going to do is pop the top cover off. It's held by push pins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the way you get to it is just prop it with a screwdriver, get a nice prying tool underneath it, and you can just pop those out. That's one. When you have all the clips removed, we're just gonna go ahead and lift this up and get it out the way. Next thing we're gonna do is take out the six T15 screws from the top. We went ahead and turned the wheels to the passenger side so that way we can get into the wheel well. Uh, there's a couple screws that we're gonna be turning out, taking out here. Five of the T15 bolts that, that hold the inside liner. One, two, three, four, five. So that way we can peel back the liner and get access to the inner fender. Now that we peel the inside fender out, there's three bolts on each side. There's one, two, three. They hold the fender to the bumper itself. We're gonna go ahead and remove these three. Hard to get the camera in there, so we're gonna try to do our best. That's one. That's two. And there should be one more towards the end. There we go. Now I went ahead and separated this a little bit. And let's see what else is holding it. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. So same thing on the passenger side. We're gonna go ahead and loosen up the five Torx bolts. And these are T15. We're gonna go ahead and peel this inner flap out. Once you peel the splash guard, you'll see the three bolts that separate that connect the fender to the bumper, you're gonna have to remove these three on both sides. It's hard to get the tool in there. I typically just use the tool to loosen it and then I use my fingers to get the rest of the bolt out. There's the last one. I'm gonna go peel this under and separate them. Next thing we're gonna do is remove these two bolts from the front of the grill. Might need an extension. I might need to get a longer extension. Now we're removing the two 10 millimeter bolts. There's one on each side from the bottom in order to separate the front of the grill from the radiator support, from the active shutter system support, I apologize. And the second one is here. Let's see what we got. Okay, the clips are coming out. Just pull on a little bit to loosen up the clips. And I think the only thing that's left that's on the bottom. Let's go see what we got. I'm gonna say loosen all the ten, all the seven millimeter bolts from the bottom. Alright, we got them all out. We're gonna go in and unplug the fog light. Typically you squeeze it and pull it back. There's a little button here, you squeeze it and pull it out. That's the driver's side. I'm gonna do the same thing on the passenger. Squeeze it and pull it out. Now looking from the bottom, there's only two more bolts that are holding this bumper from the inside. So one is here and it's right behind this plate. I'm gonna get my hand in there and unbutton it. And this is from the under view. This one here and one is going to be in here as well. It's pretty, pretty bad bolt placement. Well, let's see. It's hard to get to because it's already at an angle. So just to summarize everything, I got the two bolts from the center of the grill. I got all the bolts from the under that are holding it. All the clips have been removed. And now everything just comes loose. One, two, three. And you separate the front end. Now that we remove the grill, let me show you which ones gave me a hard time when removing the front bumper. It's actually these inner top ones. Um, it was hard for me to get my tool in there. Um, I guess you can remove more paneling from the bottom in order to get to it. Um, I kind of just used a small ratchet and 
got it out little by little. And that's how you remove the grill from the 2022 GMC Canyon AT4. We're gonna go ahead and uh, install some MNR light bars in here. Stay tuned in a different video. You're gonna love the progress.